All right, so to install TypeScript, all you have to do is do yarn add TypeScript, or in my case, in my case, yarn global add TypeScript, because I use it globally because I want it in all my products. So I do yarn global add TypeScript, and I'm all good to go. Yeah, okay. Now here on this folder, I am going to create a file called ts TypeScript config.json. On this file, I am going to tell TypeScript um, how to compile the JavaScript, all right? And I'm gonna give it some options. So the first thing that I'm gonna say is, oh, it has it, compiler options, all right? And I'm going to say some stuff that could be boring for now, but this is only so uh, we can use Node.js normally and we can use imports and exports and all that stuff. And this is the modules, this is one. The other one is started, and this is what version of JavaScript we want to compile to, and we want to do ES2015, all right. And the last one is source map true, because we want to see some stuff, all right. Now, we need to tell uh, TypeScript which files to include on the compilation process, all right. So that's why we're going to say include, and include um, it's an array of files that we can include, that we are going to include in the compilation process. So here I'm going to create index.ts, that is TypeScript, all right? And here in include, I'm going to say, well, I want to include index.ts. But also we can exclude. And to exclude, I'm gonna exclude node modules, all right? This is the setup that I do always for my products. All right. In this case, we're not going to install any node modules, but still is useful if you exclude it by default. I'm just trying to show you the best practices. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say alert. Hello, this is TypeScript. All right. And what I want to do now is to compile the index.ts into index.js. So I am going to come to my terminal and I type TSC. And what TSC is gonna do is that it's going to compile this alert hello, and as you can see, I have a index.js and an index.js map, okay? So this is the first steps of TypeScript. This is how you will do a uh, compilation, okay? You come, you create a TS config.json, and then you execute TSC. Now what I wanna do is instead of executing TSC, I'm just gonna run yarn start, all right? So I'm gonna call this a scripts. And this one is going to be, let's call this a start, all right? And what I wanna do here is that every time I run the start, I want to compile the index.ts and I want to run it. It means that if I come here and I do console log, I want to be able to see whatever I am console logging, all right? So here I am going to say node index.js, all right? So if I run yarn start, I'm going to execute the index.js file in node, which is good. But remember, I have to compile it first, all right? I have to compile the TypeScript to the JavaScript. So I'm gonna create a pre-hook, pre-start, and this is going to compile the TypeScript. So I'm going to say TSC, all right? So every time I do yarn start, I don't know if you knew this, but if I do yarn start, yarn is going to execute this first and this second, all right? So I'm gonna say yarn start is going to compile and then it's going to say hello on the node index.js, all right? So if I delete this thing, oh no, let's not delete it, let's look inside. Now is console log. As you can see, it is working. If I delete this, we do yarn start again, and it's going to create the index, and it's going to execute the index. Yes. Remember, Node doesn't understand TypeScript, all right? We need to compile it. We need to make it into um, uh, normal JavaScript code, all right? You, you cannot give TypeScript to Node. You need to give it JavaScript code. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. In this video, we learned how to do the setup of TypeScript. As you can see, it's the same as JavaScript. It just has uh, different rules, but that's all we're gonna 
we're going to see that on the next videos. Um, this is the tsconfig.json file. You can find a lot about this file on the internet and it has a lot of documentation on all the options you can do, all right? I think that you can also do out directory. Maybe you can uh, put a, um, the compiled JavaScript on a directory. You can, I don't know, there's many stuff you can do. We're going to see it later. See you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.